Oh! Hello, my hearties. A very good evening to you, Dinky Doo. It's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought we'd have a quick pop up just to see how you all were. Bit of a catch up, of course, and see what is what. So do come and join me just for a few minutes. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live. This is the big one. Nothing gets past me, of course, and it's great to have you with us tonight. Welcome, 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 I say. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live saying dinky do to every one of you, of course. And, um, Get the message out there. Let everybody know. That's what it's all about. Thakur Sharma, Dinky Doo, Stephen Menzies, and the wonderful Gordon Roddick has come and joined us. Dinky Doo, I say. Great to have you all with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. If you'd like a wee shout out, and we can have a bit of chat back and forward. Now, of course, we've been popping up with watch parties, but here I am absolutely live just for you, Steve McLennan. Hello. El Salvador, Stallione Savior, Scotty, Scotty, El Salvador. Lovely to have you with us. I'm giving you the £20 tomorrow for PayPal for your friend. Oh, thank you for that. The appeal's going very well, but we can always manage another few wee £2. 50s. Good evening, Scotty. You're looking dapper again. Green for go, says John Boyle. Down to Salford Royal. I'm in the H2 ward. El Salvador, you must look after yourself and keep well. Very, very, very important. We need to see more of you. Henry Anderson, Dinky Doo. Paul Francis Carroll, one of the world's great organists. Dinky Doo, Scotty, says Marianne Bryce. What's the appeal for? It's for a friend of mine, Marianne. It's £2.50. And you pop it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue or gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Two pounds fifty. Some people have been extremely generous. They've sent in a five or a ten or twenty pounds, but two pounds fifty. No problem at all. Paul Francis Carroll says, Are you well? Hi, sir. Are you well? I am, sir. Lovely to hear from you. And Dinky Doo, of course, Friday night. Just a quick pop up. We uh, popped up on Sunday, but I had to dash off. Dash off to Nation Radio, of course, to do a bit of broadcasting there. Uh, the wonderful Susan Forrest down in Lancashire is watching Dinky Do to You Sue. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And uh, some wonderful banter with the wonderful Gordon Roddick, one of uh, our great television broadcasters over the years. Started, I think, at the start of Scottish television. Is that right, Gordon? Um, or was it 1958 or 59? I always have to try and remember these things. And we were just saying at the 50th anniversary of BBC television, then uh, the wonderful Mary Malcolm and MacDonald Hobley, who had been announcers at the start of the television service, they um, popped up 1986. And I remember having a discussion with you about it. I'm on meds now, pal, but I'm attached to IV and catheter. I think you mean a catheter. Arch, ha, El Salvador, you take care of yourself, my dear fellow, and we send you strength and well-being. Hi from the UK. Hi, mates, is Charles Boros. Hello, Charles Boros. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Now, as everybody shared and spread the word and let them know, Scotty McClue is live just for you. I shall be doing a bit of that as we chat. And um, if you're feeling flush and you can spare two pounds fifty, if you think over the last uh, 28 years, Scotty McClue has made me smile. I'll give him £2.50. That would be great. Thank you. Not got PayPal's. Another way to contribute, says Marion Bryce. Uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. And you'll see all the videos tell you about it. It was October 1957, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick. So Gordon started announcing in October 1957. That is absolutely incredible. 62 years ago, Gordon. Surely not 
My goodness me. Um, El Salvador Stallione, yes, mate, ha-ha. Uh, good evening, Prime Minister McClue. And thank you, Sir Stuart Noon. Ooh, don't involve me in all that tomorrow till after tomorrow. My goodness me, when we get the Brexit vote. As far as I'm concerned, there's no reason to leave the EU, and um, there's certainly no rush to leave the EU. So I think we just have to be very careful about anything being wished upon us. My water's work stopped working, retaining just my luck, Scotty. We need you live more, says El Salvador. El Salvador, you look after your water works. We've all got them, and they are very, very important. Hi, Scotty, says the lovely Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Dinky do so, I say. And a wee kiss, mwah, lovely to see you. Ian Johnston, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Spread the word. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing, folks, if that's all right. Let everybody know that we're here and uh, that we are the same. That would be absolutely great. So there we are. Wonderful. It says that uh, Gordon Roddick, Susan Forrest, and 17 others. Tremendous. A couple of thousand of you joined us last week. Hello, says Michael Putley. Hi, Scotty. A wee while no see, says Ian Johnson. Absolutely, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, there's Marianne Bryce giving me the thumbs up. Thank you, Angel. That's wonderful. If you're worried about the £2.50, then you can check out all the videos from Scotty McClue. Um, quite agree. No need to leave. Live recital soon on your show, Patrick, says Paul Francis Carroll. Paul Francis Carroll, one of the world's great organists, of course. He can go solo, choir, swell, great, all that stuff. Hi, Scotty, it's Kev, says Si Kwai Tang. Si Kwai Tang, hello, dinky do. Hanna Laura Ramanayake is watching. Hanna Laura Ramanayake, where are you watching from, I say. Malcolm Wilson's watching, dinky do, Malcolm. Lovely to have you with us. What a fabulous name, Hanna Laura Ramanayake. Have I said it properly, though? You must correct me. Can you sing PM McClue? I bet you can hit them notes. Oh, I can get right up to the high notes and down to the low notes. Bonnie Charlie's no <laughs> Fantastic. I've done Bonnie Charlie's no See, there we are. Richard Mackay, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, of course. And a big wave to you. Tremendous. So I'm just going to uh, share this, let everybody know that we're on and they can come and join us. Scott, when are you doing a live seminar telling us about your life in radio? El Salvador, it's interesting. That keeps stopping. I don't see myself as a terribly interesting character, but apparently others do. So there you are. And I do have certainly a lot of tales to tell. Um, it has been very, very interesting. It's been quite a, a roller coaster journey in my life uh, up till now. Should Scotland build a bridge to mainland Europe? Martin Morgan. Why on earth are we coming out of the EU? So there we are. It's fine, I'll give you the £20 out of generosity for all the work you've done over the years, sir, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Carl Carlos Donnelly, that is very, very, very generous of you. Very thoughtful and very considerate. I had somebody on, a lovely lady, Barbara, last week. She said, you're worth millions times this. She said, I'm always amazed at how little you ask for. Well, it's to help a friend out. Um, and I need a thousand of us to give £2.50 to get that pennies to them. Marianne Bryce, Dinky Doo. Brian Alexander, lovely to see you. You're a very knowledgeable man, says Nick Baldy. Well, I, I have to try. Um, we've been having a lot of fun here on Facebook. Marlon Cameron here from Port Glasgow. We should be staying in the EU, says Marlon. Mwah! Love to Port Glasgow. Marlon, if you're ever on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, look after Port Glasgow. So there you are. You go on to YouTube, you go on to Scotty McClue's channel, put up Scotty McClue, 
Port Glasgow. When I got a new phone, I stopped at the Comet and did a wee broadcast. And it's quite funny because there's two actually, but one, I can't get the phone off. I'm holding it upside down. I can't stop it. And all the lovely porties were coming by and going, are you all right, sonny? You want me to hold that for you? Are you okay? Oh, a famous man telling each other what was going on. Um, all right, big man, you're looking grand, says Rab Hill. And you, Rab, of course, you always look grand. Fantastic. Wonderful. That's what we're wanting. And um, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 about Scott McClure popping up. What a week I've had on Facebook. Have you seen some of the bile that uh, I get um, poured, the uh, opprobrium that gets uh, that gets poured on Scotty McClure just for giving them facts, telling them the truth? I tell the truth, and they go, oh, rubbish, are you an idiot? All that stuff, they go up in the blue light, you know, start giving all that stuff. Um, so there we go, very strange. I don't know if you've noticed it. I've been doing a lot of posts about Brexit um, and let, letting people know what's happening there, just telling them the truth. They're all going, oh, so you're not a fan of democracy then? I say, look, neither the referendum nor the proroguing of Parliament is democracy. Think about it. 33 million out of almost 70 million voted. 1.2 million, right, was the so-called majority. That can be reduced to 644,000 if you uh, take into account those who believed Boris's big red bus for the NHS, remember? Thanks, Scotty. So proud of my wee port tune. I'll check you out, yeah. Marlon Cameron, do you like it? And tell the other porties about it, because it's a great wee piece about Henry Bell and the Comet and Port Glasgow. And it finishes up. So there we are. So don't forget the Comet. Don't forget Henry Bell. And don't forget Port Glasgow. And that's uh, where it's rather good. So there we go. Excellent stuff. And you can come on here, folks, and tell me where you're from. And uh, we can talk about your town. Uh, it's wonderful stuff. Um, share your story. I'm just sharing my story here. And we'll get the numbers up. John Arut, think you do. If you've got a lot of people, folks, if you like to just uh, send it round right now and tell 10 to tell 10. I'm just sharing my story. Share your story. And I'll just put live now. And live now. There we go. Excellent stuff. That's that done live now. And I'll just share that. Wonderful stuff. I know you're pro-EU, says Tony Richardson. Have you had, had any benefits from levers? I've asked loads and find it seems to be a conversation stopper. Well, Tony, is there's no benefits to ordinary people and leaving the EU. This uh, take back control, we've never ever lost control, never ever lost sovereignty, never ever lost our country, all that. The UK is four countries. People say we want to make Britain great again. Britain, there's no such country. It's a land mass of which four countries occupy, or three countries and a principality. Wonderful stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Paul Crookshanks, think you do. Uh, the broadcast keeps stopping a bit and continuing, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Yes, I've noticed that. It stops and I just press continue again. So I think just the internet must be very, very overloaded or something like that. So there we are. Anyway, not to worry about it. Folks, if you're watching and you're feeling flush and you can spare £2.50, pop it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Wonderful Ian Kerr's watching. Well said, Scotty, says Ian Johnston. Not at all, Ian. We're just telling the truth, giving people the facts. You know, exactly, I agree with you, says Tony Richardson. I mean, we know we're being dragged out of the EU against our will. And when I put down, there's the wonderful Jim Heron, one of the greatest theatre directors and designers ever, a real top man, wonderful man. Uh, Jim, post to me what age you think our dear old friend Roddy would have been now. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you, my good man? Give us a shout out to Pauline, Andy, and Ruby in Falkirk. Fantastic, Paul Crookshanks. Falkirk, you can't beat it. You're a dab hand at the old internet, Scotty, says Rab Hill. Well, Rab, I think you've got to be, you've got to move with the times. Just because I've been in the air for a while doesn't mean I'm in any way 
an old man, you know what I mean? What do you think of Scotty McClure to be king of an independent Scotland? Another reason to vote yes, says James MacDonald. Well, if the job came up, James, I would certainly take it on. My family gave the monks the land to build Paisley Abbey. Oh, there's one for starters. And I was talking to a historian one day, he said, I think you could actually be royal. I said, Whoa. Well, there we are. That's an interesting one. It wouldn't actually change me, but apparently I uh, I have a bit of royal blood in me, if you trace it far enough back. Uh, the old kings of Scotland. Remember, you've got to remember that the throne of Scotland goes back 2,257 years, I think it is. Uh, what do you think of, uh, we need you back on TV, says Carl Callas Donnelly. The problem I have with the television companies, I say to them, why don't you just put me on and they go, well, you know, all that, we're, we're looking to attract a younger audience, say, but McClue always attracts a young audience. <laughs> what are you at? We're going to say, hmm. Anyway, not to worry about all of that, I say. Um, Carl Carlos Darley, yes, it'd be good to be back on the old television. Uh, there we are, pop up. I feel if we did this, I don't know if I need to maybe uh, lose a few chins or something like that, you know, but I mean, that's this is what I look like. If anybody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, then that's their problem. Nothing to do with me. This is what I look like. And uh, people are always trying to get you to, to give up. They go, why don't you give up, old Jim? Just give it up now. You've had a good innings, everything. Where are you coming from? What are you even on about? You know, why do people say that? They don't go up to the plumber and go, thanks for putting in the heating. Do you know what I think you should give up? <laughs> it's amazing. All that nonsense. We've had the mod in Glasgow this week. So Falci, Falci, Keed Emily Falci to uh, the Gaelic mod, the Gaelic mod in the Geltach of Glasgow. Excellent stuff, Don Glasgow. Um, wonderful. Uh, love to see you on TV, says Marion Bryce. I think, yes, I think I was thinking maybe a half hour on a Friday night on a Scottish television channel. It's very interesting. I remember there's the wonderful David Young watching. Dinky do, David. All the best to you, La. Um, I can remember um, thinking about this actually and. Uh, up on Facebook and popped up on Facebook, I thought, if you're starting a television or a radio station, you know the formula, you always get in touch with Scotty McClure. And of course, that brought the idiots out going, I'll be right, and all that stuff. And of course, there's a couple of television channels have started in Scotland. They haven't come for Scotty McClure. And what's happening is nobody's watching the channels or very, very few people watching them because they're not putting on entertainment, you know. But I was thinking a television program on a Friday night, say half an hour, McClue pops up. I can pop on the bonnet for you if you like. The bonnet. There we go. Pop on the bonnet. And uh, McClue pops up with the bonnet on and we can take call. We can discuss current affairs, we can discuss um, local issues, we can discuss anything like that. Obviously, we have to observe rules, but we can do all that. James Ritchie, Dinky, Stephen Mooney, lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Have you told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up? I'm just going to do a bit of sharing now, actually. I'm going to share to... Uh, group. So I'll share to my group, to the Scotty McClue fan group. Are you all in that one? If you're not, get yourselves onto that. That would be superb. And here we are. I'll just put SC in there. Wonderful. Get the group going. That's what we're doing. Oh, good. Excellent. Right, uh, SC, SC, and that should bring it up. Fantastic. Si Kui Tang, John Hepburn, James Ritchie, and Stephen Mooney, welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up just for you, dinky do. Yes, I would watch, says Marianne. Thanks, Marianne. I think we'd get a lot of viewers to something like that because it's different. You know, that's the thing. It's actually different. And we've kind of lost, when you think, 
Um, and Gordon Roddick will know all about this. When you think, when Scottish television started, there was a lot of local programming. Um, you are still and remain the most famous and well-considered hero of the radio waves. Wonderful. God-given talent. Amen, says Paul Francis Carroll. Amen to you, Padre. Hello, Scotties, says George McFarlane. Start your own Scotty TV. You'd smash it, says Rab Hill. I know, Rab, we need a lot more than £2.50 for that, though. I'll tell you, you need a few quid. Uh, so there you are. Folks, if you're feeling generous and you can spare £2.50, I'm raising money for a friend of mine. And you've all been very, very generous so far, but we need a few more £2.50s. So if you spare £2.50, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. There we are, £10 donated via PayPal. Who has done that? Gavin Hall, simply dinky do. Stephen Menzies, what are you like, sir? You keep our real network running and £10 donated via PayPal. Worth every penny. Stephen Menzies, you are a gentleman, sir. I'm not saying that just because you've donated. You are a gentleman. I've always said it. But thank you, thank you for uh, that. It's so much appreciated for your kindness, your thoughtfulness, and your generosity. So there we are. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. Stephen Menzies, can I tell you that what Brexit has cost us so far, £70 million, pounds, we could probably have an HS2. Uh, you should go into partnership with Hector Brocklebank from HB Fash, says George McFarlane. Do you remember Hector? Aye, am I coming up the front of the back of 10 ton of cod and 10 ton of haddock? <laughs> wonderful. That was uh, Hector, Hector Brocklebank. That's wonderful. And, uh, and of course, I got to work with Hector. What a privilege that was. Evening, Scotty. What are you needing money for, my man? Colonel Howard. I'm raising um, money for a friend of mine, and uh, I'm doing it at £2.50 a throw. So if you're feeling generous, then that would be wonderful. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word, or GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. So one's just Scotty McClue, all one word for PayPal, and GoFundMe is Scotty hyphen McClue. They are, you're very welcome, says Stephen Menzies. Stephen, that is a lovely, lovely gesture. Thank you. You're an absolute gentleman. You know, I wouldn't ask, folks. I've done you hundreds and hundreds of programs, and, of course, there's no charge. So there we are. Somebody told me last week, I can't remember how many million have actually watched Scotty McClue, but it's something huge. There we are. Fantastic. All the pop-ups put together. And, of course, as they go out during the week, Hundreds join us. I totally agree. Uh, we're way behind compared to other real networks. Absolutely, Stephen. We could do with investing, investing, big style. But they're they're panicking about HS2. I don't know if you saw the ITV Tonight program um, with uh, with that wonderful journalist that pops up and presents the program. Absolutely outstanding lady. And um, <clears throat> I was watching it last night, and they were talking about HS2, that it could run away with huge money, um, you know, and it could be $78 billion or something, which was obviously unthinkable. But in the last three and a half years, we've spent $70 billion on Brexit, and it hasn't even happened yet. We haven't done anything. So there you are. So somebody's done well out of Brexit. Stephen Lipton, dinky do. We love your teas and all the rest of it. Does anybody uh, remember hearing about Tommy Lipton? There'll be nobody around now that remembers Tommy Lipton. But uh, when I was wee, Lipton's teas were very, very big. Still are, of course. And Sir Thomas Lipton was an East End of Glasgow boy. So there you are. We see the Gorbals, Sir Thomas Lipton. Fantastic. His funeral was apparently massive. So they are. But they wouldn't let him into the Royal Yacht Squadron because they didn't feel he was a gentleman. Oh. So there you are. Andrew Clark, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. I remember a friend of mine saying to me, he says, Scotty, I think I could probably get you into my golf club. You know, and you know, it's very exclusive. I said, well, don't push, don't put yourself out because I don't play golf. 
<laughs> Commercial radio stations in Scotland are the same old, same old mints. No discussion, Joes. Like yours back in the day. Tony Richardson, without blowing any trumpets. Scotty McClue's phone in. Scotty McClue's nightline at nights. And Scotty McClue's phone in during the day on Scott FM. With things like almost quarter of a million listening every half hour. That's the reason I went, because other radio stations panicked. So there you go. Alan Brown, Dinky Doo, and the Scott FM should just have stuck to their guns, but they'd sold the station. They had to sell the station when Scotty McClue left. So there we are. That's not blowing any trumpets. That's a fact of life. Um, Alan Brown, Dinky Do, And I remember somebody saying, whoever was responsible for Scotty McClue not being on the radio should spend the rest of their life facing the wall on the naughty step wearing a dunce's hat. <laughs> Evening, old pals, says Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. Dinky do, Alan. Lovely to have you watching in Washington, D.C. Scotty, what's your opinion on the 12,000 workers? Oh, yes. Well, I can't comment on that, Scott, because you've mentioned a company. So there you are. So unfortunately, I can't actually comment on that. And I'll have to take that comment out. If we don't mention the companies, we can discuss things. Donna McMillan, Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome, of course. What am I doing with my bonnet on? There you are. Take it off. I'll just I'll get a wee bit thin on top here. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. Um, and uh, I thought what we'd do is just... Um, mm. Oh, that's lovely. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to do some more sharing. Sharing, sharing, sharing. Letting everybody know we're up here. You haven't all shared, by the way. I've only had seven shares, and two of them have been me. So come on, let's get sharing big style. You guys should know by now to be sharing. Very, very important. Uh, Donald McMillan, welcome, welcome, I say. Come and join us. Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster, just doing a quick pop-up on Facebook Live. Uh, wonderful. There's Dinky Do, and uh, we'll share it to Scotty McClure. There we are, and uh, I'll put live now. How have you been, Alan Brown? Talk to me. Apologies there, mate, to Scott Robert Fraser. Not at all, Scott Robert Fraser. I know it wasn't intentional, and you weren't to know about that, but we just can't discuss it once you've mentioned a company. That's just the way it goes in life. These are the wee details you have to know when you're presenting talk shows on radio and television. Carrick McCusker, Dinky Do, Eliza Jane Caldwell. Lovely to have you with us as well, Dinky Do, I say. Now, I'm just going to say um, live now. What have I got here? Oh, yes. Live now. Come and join us. Wonderful. There you are. And as I say, if you could all do the same, Christopher Granger says good evening. Good evening to you, Christopher Granger. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. So can everybody share, 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 share right now? Those of you who can type, 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 type. If you can tap, 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 tap on your type, 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 right alls. And just put that um, you are watching Scotty McClure. Come and join us. Holly says, hi, just going to bed shortly. This is Christopher Granger. Hi, Holly. You're off to bed. Off to Bobo's. Night, night. You sleep well, I say. Right, uh, Scotty McClure's pop up. Friday night. Oh, no, nothing gets past me, you know. There we are. You can't fool old McClue. Wonderful stuff. Now, I've just popped out there that, uh, that we are live and that we're telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. If you haven't popped £2.50 into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, this is for helping a friend. Right, I want to help a friend out. Obviously, if you want to give money to Scotty McClure, you can. You can pop on to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. And uh, that would be terrific because that allows us to do little bits of advertising, buy little bits of equipment. And you know, I've put thousands and thousands of pounds into uh, British radio. 
See these what shows you do? Are they live or what? Because love me, love me, I'm thick, says Rab Hill. Rab Hill, you are far from thick. I don't know who's told you that. It would be probably somebody when you were younger, a teacher or a member of your family, going, oh, I'll never amount to anything, you, all that stuff. And they've no right to tell you that. So I apologize on their behalf. The wonderful Dermot Scotty McVicker is watching in Canada. What a top man. Dink you do, Dermot Scotty McVicker. I send you felicitations from Bonnie, Scotland. What an absolute top man. And um, they are Dermot Scotty McVicker, who's been in Canada for, what, 50 odd years, Dermot Scotty McVicker. Um, Isabel Alkid is watching. Have I said it right, Isabel? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can all of you do it right now? And let's see if we can get the figures up. So if every single one of you goes, share. Just share the broadcast. Never could finish what I tried to say, but yes, your old daytime show was good. Nothing like that for a long time, considering things like Brexit, independence, have been in the agenda for ages now. Well, I think the television companies and radio companies have missed a trick by not getting me to discuss Brexit and independence and things like that because I think it would be good for them. And the, the word on the street was, if Scotland does go independent, Scotty McClue would become the Director General of the Scottish Broadcasting Service. So there you are. Um, so who knows? And then we could um, liven things up a bit. Richie McCusker's watching, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Richie. And welcome, 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 I say. There we are. Right. I've shared, so that's good. We've had 60 comments and seven shares. Have you all shared? Come and tell me when you've shared, and I'll know if you're telling me the truth. Pinocchio. Okay, so there you are. So you let me know if you've shared and I will tell you uh, if you have or not. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Did I tell you uh, we got a poison pen on Facebook? We got the poison pen, somebody purporting to be somebody else and we found out who it was. Ooh, if you'd seen the bile that was pouring out of this person. Uh, just a thought, you should do that celebrity jungle carry on. Rab, in answer to your question, a lot of the watch parties will be pre-records for people who haven't seen it before. All right? Shared, says Stephen Menzies. Stephen Menzies, you are such a top man. You're very switched on. What's your most entertaining memory of working on ILR, Scotty? Listen to you when I was growing up in Preston when you worked in the great church. Scott Robert Fraser, that's right. St. Paul's Preston was the church. St. Paul's Square. Wonderful. Just overlooking the old A6 there. Wonderful. Down to Bamber Bridge, one way up to Brock. Hey, we're back. Whoa. So there we are. Oh, I've had so many entertaining moments. I could tell you that for nothing. Tremendous. So there we go. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, folks. Get the word round. I'm going to do a little bit more sharing. Let people know. Now, come on. Have you all shared? Uh, wait a minute. I'll refresh the page and I'll know if you've shared. I'm going to share to another page now and let people know we are broadcasting. Here it goes. Wonderful stuff. Dinky do, I say. And um, the wonderful Gordon Roddick watching has the patience of a saint. Marvellous man. I was saying to you, Gordon, I would love if some of the anniversaries at Scottish Television or at uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation, if they would invite you in to do a guest appearance like they did with Mary Malcolm and MacDonald Hobley. Be wonderful. Hi, Scotty. Glad to accept your request. Thank you, Peter Dale Nevins. Always lovely to have you with us. How are the dogs? I see, is it three you've got? Incredible. Wonderful stuff. So there we go. Now, and uh, excellent stuff. There we are. I don't know if you can hear some noise there. Good evening, fine sir. Lovely to have you with us. This is John Cameron. Dinky do, John. Always lovely to have you with us. And welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to um, send this one out and go live now. Come and join us. Oh. There we are. Excellent stuff. Live now. 
come and join us. Uh, I'm probably a bit of a hopeful popping up on a Friday night, but that's what we're doing. Good evening, fine, sir. Uh, good evening to you, John. Always lovely to have you with us, and dinky do excellent stuff. And uh, we'll share in one of the other groups now as well. Let them know. But I will start a watch party when I finish on here, and people who haven't managed to see us can come and see us then that would be rather good so there we go just doing a bit of group sharing now excellent stuff and then it's probably time i wasn't here i hadn't realized just how quick the time flies when you're enjoying yourself uh, we'll probably manage to pop up just before the show on sunday night nation radio 10 o'clock uh, just got back from turkey i've got white bits says john cameron yes fantastic poor old turkey and the poor cards, for goodness sake. Um, I do wish people would stop fighting like that. Do you know that the main function of the army is peacekeeping? So there we are. Nikki Harvey winning, dinky do. Can I ask you a riddle, Scotty McClure? Of course you can, John Cameron. Ian McManus is watching. Lovely to have you with us. It keeps stopping tonight. Sorry about that. Um, wonderful stuff. Uh, growing up, I used to listen to Dr. Dick's Midnight Surgery. Do you mind that? Yes, Rab Hill on Radio Clyde. Yes, Richard on Radio Clyde. Fantastic. Shared boss, so Scott Robert Fraser. Thank you, Scott Robert Fraser. That is fantastic. It just lets everybody know. Just going to get this going. Got another group coming up here. And we will see what is what. And I shall put it out to Facebook, a Facebook group. There we are. Oh, up it all comes. How fantastic is that? And that can go out to that. Excellent. And to that. Good. So there we are. Uh, who's the guy in the photo behind you? Uh, that's a young me, Tony Richardson. You keep praising me, Scotty. I was only an announcer and a newsreader. Gordon Roddick, you were the face of Scottish television. Yes, when uh, the great Lord Thompson of Fleet, Roy Thompson, uh, a Canadian gentleman, owned Scottish television, and that's when he said it was a license to print money. And I can remember the great Sir William Brown uh, thinking, I wish he hadn't said that. <laughs> God, that's wonderful. So, of course, I keep praising you, Gordon Roddick, because you are very good at, uh, at what you do and at what you did. And uh, that was no easy task in those days. It was quite a big ask for for people who wouldn't have had any training in television to have the courage to go and present television. What a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. That's why I praise you. And you deserve it. Which is the greater than God, eviler than the devil? Rich don't need it, poor have it. And if you eat it, you will die. What's greater than God, eviler than the devil, rich don't need it, the poor have it, and if you eat it, you will die. Oh, if you eat it, you, oh, you've got me there. You'll have to spill the beans. You're not on radio at the moment, buddy. Yes, Kevin Kelly. Of course I'm on radio at the moment. Sunday nights. We're not right at this very moment, but Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp, Nation Radio Scotland, www.nationradio.scot. Get yourselves on there. A Turkish boy told me this, says John Cameron. Well, we need to find out the answer to this one. Perhaps you should keep it for another pop-up. Spoil the audience a bit. Don't let them know. That's what I say. Seven shares now. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to refresh the page because I think there's a lot more than seven shares. So there you are. So Kevin Kelly, yes, very much on the radio at the moment, but not at this very moment. Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp. Right, what have we got here? Um. Oh, yes. There now, let me see, let me see, let me see who's, and, ah, ha, ha, wonderful. And we've been on, I've been on 
for uh, for 48 minutes. I will have to dash off. Yes, says John Cameron. What are you yassing about, John Cameron? We will just keep the audience going. Yes, a belter. Right, that's what we'll do, John. Don't spill the beans tonight. Keep them all going, and we'll see what is what. How fantastic is that? And I will start a wee watch party when we've finished here, so then you'll know what's what. Oh, Sorry, I beg your pardon. 76 comments and 22 shares. You've all done your stuff. There are no Pinocchios. Wonderful. Hello, I used to listen to the other version of you on Century Radio Northeast. Remember him? Do you know all I do? The late, great Mike the Mouth. And you will see Mike, Mike Elliott. You'll see him on Billy Elliott, the movie. He's the big guy with uh, the friend of the dads. Hey, Scotty, loving you. This is Chris Kelly. Fantastic, Chris. Welcome, 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 I say. Tremendous to have you with us. And people giving me a lot of thumbs up. Let's have some thumbs up and some hearts. That's what we want. So there we are. So it's not seven shares when I refresh the page. 22 shares. That's what we like. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So there you go. Now, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, John Cameron. Oh, Rab Hill's trying to get it. No, I don't think so. No, there you are, Rab. Uh, good guess, but uh, no cigar, I say. Not happening. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So somebody said last week they thought I might be able to play Churchill. They said, you look like Churchill. So I was wondering about practicing the voice and perhaps being Winston Churchill. Playing Churchill. Playing, playing, playing Winston Churchill. Speak to Clemmy. See what happens. So there we are. <laughs> and ask your listeners, says John Cameron. Yes, do, John. And my viewers, listeners and viewers, but come on on Sunday night and speak to them. Where's the bunnet, Scotty? The bunnet's here, Brian Murphy. Never far away. Scotty McClure's bunnet. So there you are. Excellent stuff. And, of course, lovely to have you with us. That's what it's all about. And uh, remember, I'm also on Twitch. For those of you who are feeling flush and a wee bit generous, if you can find £2.50 and pop it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure, all one word, or gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. That would be wonderful. So there we are. What's Rab saying? A bingo dabber. So there we are. So the bunny is here. Does that answer your question? Question. Very, very important. I have question. So, wonderful. Right. Now, uh, what else are we going to What's the time doing? Gonna say, I'm just having to check what's going on here. I'll do another refresh of the page and see what is what. Excellent. Um, so, do you like the pop-ups? Are you up for the pop-ups? Do you enjoy them? Uh, because we've been doing them now for about, must be almost three years. I think it was about this time of year. And it was a friend of mine that said, you should try Facebook Live. And I said, do I need to get a new computer? And he said, no, just click the icon. Click the icon, Scotty. Churchill. Winston Churchill. There we are. We shall never give in. There we are. Winston Churchill would have been spinning in his grave at the moment because his greatest wish was to have a United States of Europe with the UK at its heart and a single army with a single commander. So there we are, commander. Scotty, come back to Cumbria, says Chris Clark. Dinky to Chris. All right. Pop-ups are great, says Stephen Menzies. Get the bunner on sideways, Scotty. Go with the flow. Rab, the scoop at the side. Do you remember that? The old... Uh, the Oh, a wee touch of the para handies. Uh, so they fought us on the dab radio. They fought us on the Facebook. Scotty always wins. We shall fight on the Facebook. We shall fight on the dab. But we shall never, never give in. Good night. Papa <laughs> Sunday says Susan Forrest in Lancashire. Dinky do, Susan Angel. What a sweet lady. Watch 
is here, Wedge Hashmi from Manchester. Welcome, Wedge. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo, sir. How have you been? Do let me know what's happening. Tremendous stuff. I miss old Manchester. Thoroughly enjoyed it down there. Uh, so there you are. You sound like Susan McGuire with a sore throat. This is John, John Cameron. What are you at? Wonderful. Ooh. Now, a very, very big thank you to everybody who's so kindly donated, particularly you, Gordon Roddick. Thank you for your generosity. Tremendous stuff. Um, how are you, says Wedge? We're great, Wedge. We're doing wonderfully well. Wedge, I'm uh, saving for a pal, no pressure at all, but I'm asking people to pop £2.50 into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Dinky you do, you're still selling the pies, says Chris. Chris Bavard, Dinky do, yes, you can get a Scotty McClue pie, always say I to a McClue's pie and a vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Wonderful. Hi, says Peter Lockwood. Hi, Peter. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Gordon, uh, I don't know if you were uh, listening to the radio. Watch says, I've been okay, thanks. Good for you, Watch. We like to hear this. This is excellent. Uh, Gordon, I don't know if you heard me telling the story on radio that um, the wonderful Jack Mulroy and Ricky Fulton, when they were doing the Francie and Josie, and part of the routine, they say, Oh, do you mind the coo cans? Oh, the old STV. Fantastic. We flushy brun pine us out at the end of the night. And, of course, that would be a sort of allegiance to Bill, um, to, to, to the late, great Bill Brown. Fantastic. And they would be getting the money flushy brun. Um, I believe we have one of your sister stations here in Sunderland. Yes, you do. Fantastic. Nation Radio. I've been training to be a radio presenter, says Wadge. Good for you, Wadge. Like so many of these things, the best way to train is to actually do it. Just watch out for the old pitfalls. Take it steady. When I uh, was, uh, um, my first job was helping out on boats. I was a maritime man for four years. Uh, and uh, the drop bums, yes, we remember that one. I donate, Scotty, the wife's got my card, plus I can't remember the pin. Don't you worry, Rab, there is never any pressure. Uh, Shell James, Dinky Doo from John Cameron. Billy Hunter is watching. Lovely to hear you earlier, Billy. Uh, yes, Bill Brown's a real gentleman. Wonderful man, Gordon Roddy. It was really through Bill Brown that um, I decided to go into television. He was such a wonderful gentleman. Uh, and of course, um, setting up Radio Clyde, he was on the board at Radio Clyde. Wonderful stuff, along with the late, great Kenneth McKellar. And, um, and I couldn't make Bill's funeral, I remember that, but Kenneth was singing at the funeral, wonderful. Can you shout out to my brother Asim, says Wedge? Of course I can, Wedge. Dinky do from Scotty McClue to you, Wedge. Excellent stuff and always lovely to hear from you. So there we go. And um, so that was that. So so there you are, going all these lovely wee stories. And of course, Jack Mulroy was a massive as Ricky was a massive fan of Scotty McClue. Uh, it was so good. It's better than a, a showbiz knighthood, that, to hear Jack Mulroy say, Scotty, we'll never miss your show. And when you finish, son, we put it off. <laughs> they were lovely, lovely people and great professionals. So wonderful. Of course I can shout out to your brother, Wedge. No problem at all. Now, time I wasn't here, isn't it? So there we go. Time to push off. If you're feeling flush, folks, and you can stretch to £2.50, pop it into paypal.me. You'll see the link there, forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. That would be tremendous. But no pressure, only if you can, and only if you want to. I know you wouldn't if you didn't want to. It makes sense, but you know what I'm saying. Scott Grant, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. There we go. The shares are all up again. Sad that Century Radio is no more now. Local is classed as London or Manchester with some great radio stations in the northeast. I think the government should go back to relicensing local stations again. 
um, you know, and, and, and get them out there. I mean, there's, there's a lot of radio services there, but I would like to see that because I've spent my life building up local radio and uh, tremendous it is, I say. Very, very important. Uh, I'm just doing another wee, another wee refresh here. There we are. Wonderful. Hope you don't mind. Uh, am I a wee bit close to the camera for you? Is that better? Uh, take care, big man, says Rab. And say dinky do to Madassa, my mate, says Wadge. Hello, Madassa. And there's Tony Ingledo watching. Hello, Tony. Dinky do will give you a wee wave. We'll go wave to Tony. Woo! Fantastic. Right. Lots and lots more shares. That's tremendous, guys. Thank you very, very much. It really is appreciated. Uh, so there we go. And, you know, I don't normally ask... Uh, for money, but I'm asking tonight for £2.50 into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure, all one word. You'll see the link at the top of the broadcast. Dinky do from Nova Scotia, Scotty. This is Mark Williams Middlehurst. Ah, oh, lovely to have you with us. Mark Williams Middlehurst up there in uh, Nova Scotia, New Scotland. Wonderful. We like it. And you've got the, the fiddles over there. Where are you on here? Says Dina Hall. Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp. Um, www.nationradio.scot or 96.3 on the FM if you're in Glasgow and West Central Scotland. My riddle is class. No Google answers. No, no, John Cameron. Not a word. Hang on to it, I say. Fantastic. That's what we like. Do not tell. Don't give it away. There we go. Lots more shares. I thank you for that. 24 of you have shared, which is wonderful. This will pop up for watch parties as well, just to let you all know what's what and dinky do. So there are. Wadge is having a good laugh. Wadge, what are you up to? Let me just check back. <laughs> wonderful stuff. There we go. He's having a good old laugh. Good for you, Wadge. We like that. And um, I'm just thinking, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Uh, did you reach your target of £2.50? Just about, John. few more to go. Scotty, the lighting's a bit bright. Is it? Is it too bright tonight? We'll see if we can sort that out for you at some point as well, of course. No problem at all. Lovely, lovely. We'll probably try and pop up on Sunday night um, just before. Wag says you're only on one day a week. Yes, they wanted to do the club music. And we'll see, of course, we get the Rage R figures. We'll be coming in uh, next week. What's happening there? And that will be wonderful. Sorry about the little pauses there. Circumstances beyond my control. A little technical difficulty. Are we ready for the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, my loves. Thank you very, very much for popping your pennies in there. It is so much appreciated. If Scott McLeod made you smile over the last 28 years, and you think he's worth £2.50, then uh, you'll see it goes into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word, and you'll see it there. Do it in a church of life. Now it's time for me to go. I am a very, very great man, indeed. And I say in a Winston Churchill voice, good night to you all. <laughs> <laughs>